Stu Smith today from uh, Control Logic. We're going to have a chat today about correct con connection of uh, 24 volt DC power supplies in your control system. Just our little board where we do some test setups for uh, clients that want to come in and have a look, or if we're trialling a piece of equipment. But there's a lot of misunderstanding around around the correct connection of your 24 volt power supply. Generally, in the industry, it should be PELV, protected extra low voltage. The way to go about that is, me personally, I will put a circuit breaker protection for the 24 volt DC supply. Good point of isolation. Got your 24 volt power supply, so we'll switch it on as we go. So, obviously, there's testing to do for PELV, so consider that done. So, our power supply is up. On the downstream side, protected extra low voltage. What is it really? What it means is, when you look at the zero volts of the 24 volt output, or the minus, we call it, it's reference to earth. Also, which I've seen not done, you actually needed good practices, at least one or a series of downstream 24 volt circuit breakers to protect that individual part of the circuit. And also, again, for isolation, testing, resetting. If you have to reset the whole board to reset your safety relay, you're going to cause a bit of trouble. So, how do you know whether you've got PLV? One is I'd look, at, look for a zero volt reference. You can measure it, so you can find your 24 volts. Measure to any earth point on the installation and it should read 24 volts. That's the joy of it for electricians, because you've got a reference voltage through the board. If you don't reference that 24 volt neutral zero volts to earth, then you get lost in the control circuit because you've got no reference to do any electrical testing on your 24 volt DC side. So expect a circuit breaker downstream. If you've got SELV, which means you haven't got an earth, you'd be expecting a two pole circuit breaker there and then the whole 24 volt system floats above earth, but it should be dual, dual circuit breaker there. Also, as you, as you go through the 20 volt circuit, 24 volt circuit, Good practice is that individual devices or groups of devices, cards, the PLC system, should have an individual circuit breaker for circuit protection, but also just for means of isolation testing. So, for example, you've got a PSC1, Smurzel's new little programmable safety relay. If you read the manual, it calls for a 2 amp circuit breaker, so there is a manual and it's worth reading. So it calls for a 2 amp circuit breaker for protection of that device, so I will follow that. Uh, it's probably enough to get you up and running with your 24 volt control circuit. What I would say too is if you're in Melbourne and you'd like to drop in, all these talks, we've got this board set up, you're welcome to drop in, have a cup of coffee, uh, have a chat with us, and have a play with any of the equipment that we're going to have set up. Okay, cheers.